the other day, on the spur of the moment, we decided to take a ride over to Harris Cherokee Casino Resort. It's in the western part of North Carolina on the Cherokee Indian Reservation. The resort itself is owned by the Eastern Band of the Cherokee Indians and operated by Harris Enterprises. Now, I've been there many times before, and this is not some kind of rinky-dink casino. This is a luxury resort, and even if you don't bet, there is plenty to see and do at this resort. In fact, I'm not one to gamble. I'll stick a coin in a slot machine occasionally, but that's about the extent of it. But I knew that I wanted to go and visit because I hadn't been there for about six, seven years, and I wanted to see what it was like if there had been any changes. So let me take you with me on my day trip to Harrah's Casino Resort. Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Sandy from Sandy Over 70. I hope you'll consider pushing the subscribe button and clicking the notification bell. And at the end, if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Now, let me tell you about my day trip to the casino. The drive there took a little over an hour through the mountains, a very beautiful drive. The parking in the parking garages at the casino and hotel is free. There are four hotel towers with a total of 1,833 rooms, making Harris Cherokee the largest hotel in North Carolina. The complex includes a 15,000 square foot conference center, a 3,000 seat events center, 10 restaurants, an 18,000 square foot spa, nine retail shops, 24 bowling lanes, an arcade, and three bars. This is the Mist Bar, which combines video games and live entertainment on the weekends. Upstairs, you'll find the Wicked Weed Brewery, which offers 22 beers on tap and 18 bottle varieties. They also offer some beer-inspired snacks. The last time I was here, this area was a buffet, but now it's a food court. It's the Chef Ramsey Food Court. Now, I'm not familiar with him, and apparently he's a very famous chef, and you probably know him if you watch any of the food networks, but I don't. All I know is that there's supposedly eight different dining areas or concepts here, and I'm not sure they're all open. They weren't all open when we were there. I'm not sure they're even all completed, but uh, some of them were open, and they give you lots of options for eating, from burgers and pizzas to sushi and fish and chips, and of course sandwiches and a coffee bar. We chose not to eat here. We went over to the area where the stores are, and we decided on this. It's called Brio, a Tuscan restaurant, and you can see it's not very busy, but they didn't have enough staff to serve us right away, so we did have to wait 15 minutes. We decided to order the pasta, the Pomodoro pasta, because I feared it would come in a giant bowl and we wouldn't be able to eat it all. However, we were quite surprised at the size of the portion that we eventually got. We're at the Tuscan Grill and had to wait 15 minutes because apparently they're understaffed here. We were told they only had three servers, but that was okay because we went and looked at some of the cute little stores that they have here. So now we're waiting for our lunch. We have ordered pasta pomodoro and hopefully it will be absolutely delicious. I'll let you know. Steve says it's better than mediocre, but not great. He loves all food, so that tells you something. We had tiramisu for dessert, and the presentation wasn't the greatest, but it tasted good. The hotel is beautifully decorated with lights and high ceilings and carpets. This is 
one of the stores called Studio. It has fine ladies apparel, designer fragrances, accessories, a Pandora shop, and it features Karen Kane, Swarovski, Citizen watches, and more. These are some shoes on display and some purses all very high end and full price uh, i did not buy anything here but i don't mind looking at beautiful things for instance look at this beautiful swarovski crystal necklace it's fun to look at the casino area from above as you can see it's not very crowded but it was a monday so i didn't expect crowds nor did i want crowds i think the lighting of a casino is always fun with the sound of the jingling machines this area with the gaming tables was not heavily used and i enjoyed just walking around and trying to pick out the game i was going to play when we arrived at the casino, I signed up for one of their rewards cards. You put it into the machine and it tracks your winnings and losses and things like that. And it will also allow you to be notified of any special offers in the future. Anyway, they told me they had loaded it with $50 for me to play on the slot machine. So, of course, I did. I went looking for a slot machine I thought would be fun to play. I inserted the card and it gave me $50 credit. And I was playing for a while knowing I was going to lose. Of course, you always <laughs> lose. And I was down to $8 when I decided to push the max button. And that gives you the opportunity to play the maximum amount you can on that machine. I didn't even look what that was because it was probably a lot of money, but I figured I was tired of playing it and I just wanted to leave. So I pressed the max button a few times and lo and behold, I won. <laughs> I won $87. That's $50 that they gave me plus $37 more. And I decided to stop right then and there before I put it right back in because I'm sure Everybody does that. And I snatched that little ticket out of the machine and walked to the cash machine, put it in, and it gave me $87 in cash, which I put in my purse. Thank you very much. <laughs> I never win, so that was a real treat for me. There are so many pretty places to just sit and relax at this resort, such as by this beautiful creek. When we were finished enjoying the creek, we turned around to go back in and the door was locked. We couldn't get back in and there was no one in that area that could let us in. So we started walking around the building as best we could to find an entrance and ended up at the front entrance. So we went back in and then we got lost inside and couldn't find our way back to the parking lot. It was hysterical. Here we are trying to get back to the parking lot from the hotel and walking around in circles. Of course, we finally did find our car and headed home. I hope you enjoyed visiting the Cherokee Casino Resort with me. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you ever been to this particular resort before? How about other casinos? Let us know in the comments. Thanks and have a great day.